Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today, we're gonna make some fall rounds. So I have some examples here, so you can see. Oh, super, super cute, right? Happy Halloween, and hello, pumpkin, um, is what we will be doing today. You saw the colors, and that the bow scheme and all of that. We are not doing this exact one today. Um, we are going to do one um, with some little bit more of muted colors, but the concept is the same. You can print out what um, or cut whatever vinyl you want, as well as get whatever ribbon you want. And then that way you can do it whatever way you want. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Okay, so the first part of this, um, well, actually, I've done the first part of this, which is making the design and design space and then cutting it out. So right now, just going to quickly weed this and hopefully it weeds nicely for me um, where I, I actually cut it twice. So hoping that it would weed nicely and I wouldn't have to do a whole lot in this process so I could actually show it to you because a lot of times I skip this process just because of having to, you know, stop and make sure it's weeding correctly um, and my pieces aren't sticking together. So I don't know about you, like I see some people and I've said this before, they weed and it like seems so simple, like, <laughs> and mine don't always come out that way. So, you know, I have to take time and use my little, um, tool to make sure pieces are staying down that's supposed to stay down like this piece right here and pieces aren't sticking together and I don't know about you sometimes when I feel like I got too much vinyl that might get stuck I'll start cutting pieces so I don't have to be going back and messing stuff up So that just makes it, I think, a little bit easier if you're not dealing with so much vinyl at one time. Really. So again, just making sure all the pieces that are supposed to stay down stays down. And because I cut this one twice, it is cutting for me better than the ones that I did earlier today that I showed you guys. So sometimes cutting twice works. Sometimes I feel like cutting twice doesn't work because it, um, it'll either cut where you have little strings um, left. And what I mean by that, I ha actually have some on this or it will cut where it starts pulling the pieces off while it's cutting. So you have to be careful with cutting twice. And the way you cut twice, if you didn't know, is when it stops and the arrow is telling you to eject the um, mat, you just hit C again and it'll automatically start cutting again for you. Of course, there's always a little teeny problem so but what i mean by cutting twice you see i had these thin pieces where it didn't get exactly where it was the first time i don't know if y'all can see that but anyways there's some thin there it is some thin pieces um that when it cuts again it's just a little hair off so anyways that is that so i do have a few of those around here um and so that is the vinyl of the happy halloween i also have the vinyl here of the hello pumpkin which should be a little bit easier just because it's less see this is what i mean like people be doing this all the time and not me like my stuff gets stuck like i'm about to mess up my h here because stuff is on. <laughs> so 
But one thing I'll say about this channel is you'll get the real. You won't get where it just looks all super simple. And just got to delicately pull that off. And then lay it down like it's supposed to. Here is the Hello Pumpkin. I'm going to put some... Um, transfer paper over top of both of these so that I can transfer them onto my rounds. Now, let me just talk about the rounds real quick before I do that. So these are 16 inch rounds, um, both of them. Um, I use painter's tape. So what I'll do is take painter's tape and make a line across the board and I'll either paint above the line so I can get, um, so I'll do all the white at once or I'll do all the stain at once. The stain on here is Rust-Oleum Wood Stain Carbon Gray. Um, love the look. So uh, if you, anybody has questions about that, and then I just used, um, I wanna say plaid's white, um, you can get it at Walmart, so plaid's white. Um, I'm using a lot of plaid products today, so um, uh, so just letting you know. They haven't asked me to do this, but I am doing this and will be letting them know that I'm doing this. Um, so anyways, like I said, I'm going to get the transfer paper on here so that we can get going with designing the round itself. Still super cute. I'm going to go ahead and do all the words at one time. And me, I try to save. So I will use the same piece for a couple of times until I feel like it's not going to stick anymore. have it all on that do have tools like this one that helps you press it down a little bit more um, the next thing Mod Podge mat I like to use Mod Podge mat one I don't like the shinier mat you know especially on something like this like I want it to have that dull finish, like the stain is. So I don't want it to become shiny. Okay, this right here, one of the best inventions ever because at first I was using foam brushes every time I use my Mod Podge. And then um, actually Mod Podge um, Plaid sent me some of these brushes, love them. So if you do not have a set of brushes, maybe I can do a giveaway here soon. But if you can't wait for me, then go out and get yourself a set. I will have the link in the description below as well to make sure um, that you can know where to find them, at least on Amazon. And um, you can just cover the letters. I don't. Um, I did when I first started doing these um, and found that then I would have just and maybe I was using a shiny too, I would have a shiny um, surface just around the letters and it didn't look as professional. Um, so I stopped doing that and I just do the whole thing. So I give this a little bit of time to dry. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm actually gonna go paint a piece of furniture while this is drying and then I will come back and show you guys the rest. So it looks like super white and it's like, oh my God, what have I done? Um, this dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. Where is that inside of there? 
Um, so I will again come back and put on, um, put the ribbon and stuff like that on next. All right, y'all, for this section, I'm gonna go ahead and add the bow on. It has dried. Um, I am actually going to, so I'm using this ribbon, it has little pumpkins on it for the Hello Pumpkin, and then I'm matching it with this ribbon, which, um, so in here, I'm going to mix some tan so that it all kind of pulls it all together. But here, as you can see, I'm just gonna kind of measure out um, two pieces to kind of cover where my my paint and my stain um, meet. Not something you necessarily have to do, but it gives it a more finished look. And all I do is just take some hot glue along that line. I would normally go a portion and then I lay it down because, you know, hot glue dries quickly. But get it as straight as I can. Bam, it's already looking cute. Like you could really like do this and not necessarily ooh, cricket, y'all. Put a bow on it. And here I'm trying to go fast and get this whole piece on here. So really you could stop right there if you wanted to. Um, but of course I'm not. Um so all right so i do my bows one of two ways i have another video out there that shows you the two different ways sometimes i just staple pieces on and sometimes i just make a bow so this way i'm just going to make a bow so just fold it a piece under just i'm trying to keep the face of the ribbon forward so twist make another loop normally on this i do about three loops and then one last a seventh loop will be where my tails are if that makes sense so this will be my third and as you can see one gets progressively bigger and here and then I make one big loop at the end of this just so like I said I can have tails and then I have some wire around here somewhere <laughs> you can have <laughs> You could have that pre-cut and then you don't have to do that, but that's what it is. So I just take it through the middle, twist, twist, twist to get it all together. And then you can cut those off. Sometimes I hold them, especially if I'm going to do a second ribbon color, because then I can just add that ribbon color in and use the same wire. So then I cut my little... Oh, point. You probably shouldn't do that with your scissors, not if you're some good ones. So, kind of figure out where I want that to go. And like this will be cut because this is my longer one. So, I find the end, fold it over, and then I have, let's see if these are better. Not really. <laughs> I need some new scissors, y'all. So that way I have all my tails there. But like I said, I want to put some cream color mixed in there. Which I probably could have just did them together. Well, I didn't. 
So maybe what I'll do is put this down. So what I'm looking for here is to make sure one, I'm not covering up my words. So with the way that I did this, like you could put a flower in the middle, you could put a pumpkin in the middle. I think what I'm gonna do is just do one loop of the tan. I think I just folded that around. And then a longer one. So this is why, <laughs> like I get myself in trouble with things like Etsy because people want like the same thing. But as I'm doing stuff, I like be like, let me try this or let me try that. Ooh, this is going to be cute, you know, and end up none of my products look exactly the same, which for some people is great. And some people are like, it had a blue bow on it and now it has a green bow. All right, so once I kind of figure out where I want it, I staple it down and I just use a hand stapler and I try to find the pieces that are naturally on the bottom. So like I'll come to this last loop and go inside of it. Test it out, see how I like it. Move stuff around. Ooh, there's nothing in there. <sighs> this room is a mess, y'all, but it's an organized mess. <laughs> Said, um, fluffing. And then the last thing that I do is I use these hooks. Well, I couldn't find them, but um, they're screw eye hooks, and I just take two of them and find myself two good spots that I can screw them in at the top. and I don't have one other thing that I need. Here's that thing I need it, y'all. Can't finish this without that. Sometimes if I don't have a young man around, which I don't today, I do. I get some needle nose, basically. These are my jewelry ones, but I get some needle nose and that gives me the grip that I need to get that down in there and then I take you can use string you can use whatever you have but I double it and then I put it through one and 
and just like I did, oop, I'll, probably, I'll do that short, um, slower next time. And then I just tie off the end. So I tie that, leaving it short. Sometimes I leave it long and I feel like it's too long on the door. I put a little dab of hot glue and then tie it again. And then I cut off the excess, 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 and <laughs> cut off the excess, and well, bam, boop, 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 one is done. All right, so, so with this one, I'm gonna cut pieces. So I cut maybe eight to nine inches, um, maybe five to six in each color. So I'll, I always start off with my center piece, just curl it over and then pop two staples in it where it grabs both pieces. Um, I make the center piece whatever color and then I take the other color and just go around that. And then I take the original color and then start filling in. I decide if I want a tail because that makes a difference too. And I just put it down in, and then I'll put a loop over top of it. Like that. So with the tail, I normally, like if I'm stapling, I just fold it over and then stick it where I want it. Again, and then putting a loop over top of that. And then I fluff to see whether I like it or not, whether I feel like I need another one, which I do I feel like I need one right here mm. and then once I have it the way that I want it to look then Make my tails right. Again, folding over and going in a triangle to the end. And there's that. Super, super cute. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Um, if there's anything that you want to see, you can also leave that below i have a few a list of things that people have asked for that i'm hoping to get to soon um 
So if you've asked me to do something, keep a lookout. I'm working on it. That being said, um, you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you all. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Ding, 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 ding. I'll see you all the next time.